Hello guys, today we'll be discussing how to construct a jack plane handle using the principle of tangency. So the first thing we do is that we'll draw our vertical line which we've done here and then we'll choose a point of our choice. I'm taking this place. So I'll draw a horizontal line, construction lines. Then I'll call these points here, point zero. So now from my diagram here, you can see from this point to this point here, from 0 to point zero 0.01 is 25 millimeter. So I'll take my rule and then I'll measure 25 millimeter. Measure 25 millimeter and I'll draw a horizontal line. Let it be a construction line this way then now from my diagram here let me call this point point zero one from my diagram here you can see from point zero to this point here is 10 millimeter so i'll take 10 millimeter with my rule ten millimeter so i've put a point over here my 10 millimeter so i'll project the line upward with the construction line with the outline this way this line over here which is 25 millimeter so they say from this line here let me call this point here point a1 from this line a1 to my left is 112 millimeter so i'll measure 112 millimeter with my rule then i'll put a point over there now you can see my point so i'll outline from this line A1 over here to my point at line this way then I'll project from this point upward now you see that we've succeeded in getting this portion over here in our diagram so the next thing is that it says for point zero one, we'll have a radius of 100 millimeter. From point zero one, we'll have a radius of 100 millimeter. So what you need to do, pick 100 millimeter. This way, we'll place it at point zero one. Then we'll scribe our arc. This way. Now, You observe that where this line hits this our vertical line over here, it says we have a radius here of eight millimeter. So we we'll take from our meter rule, we we'll take eight millimeter. Take eight millimeter over here. Then from this point here, subscribe an arc here. I need to put a point there then using that same point then we draw a semicycle over here now from this point here you see that there's another radius of nine millimeters so where this radius hits the eight you open your compass to nine millimeter then from that point over here, place it here, and then your point, your compass pin here, then you move, construct a circle. Now, we succeeded in getting this portion over here, which is this. Now, the next thing says that there's a radius that touches this point here, this circle here. Externally, and when you just touch each other externally, you add 
this radius 140 millimeter touching this radius here which will give us 149 millimeter when we added 140 millimeter plus 9 millimeter radius give us 149 so we we'll pick 149 pick 149 sorry let me increase my pick 149 this way so you place it at this point here then scribe an arc let me call this point here point a2 since we have a1 here now similarly you find out that this radius here hits this point a1 over here so i'll open my compass to 140 millimeter this way and then I'll place it at point A1 then I'll scribe my arc then using this same reduce 140 millimeter I'll draw an arc you can see it's touching it that way you can see it's over here now next thing I need to do is that if you watch the diagrams in my left you say another radius of 105 millimeter with the same point here which is this point here which I call point B and with the same point here is a hundred and what five millimeter so all I need to do I'll open to 105 millimeter Then from this same point, I'll run arc, touching this over there. So now we we'll find out that there's still from this my diagram here. You see that a radius here of 15 millimeter touching this arc and this line. So you take 15 millimeter with take 15 millimeter with our compass. From our rule, take 15 millimeter. So we place it at this point here. Then scribe an arc, scribe an arc. From this same point, scribe an arc using this point now. We bisect the arc. Using this point by set the arc now this point which they meet you run arc touching two points over here now you can erase this a little is a construction line so now using an using your t square you outline this portion very well so you see we've got, succeeded in getting this part and we're we left with this now from my diagram from the left you find out that this circle here that is the arc touching these two this thing here is reduce six millimeter so i take my rule i'll measure six millimeter so i'll take six millimeter i'll place it at this point here Scribe an arc here, do the same thing here. Now using this point over here, scribe an arc. Now using this point here, I'll bisect the arc. Now still on radius 6, place it at this point which they intersect, and then I'll draw my arc over here see we're getting that portion that will erase this outer part a little 
So we've succeeded in drawing a jack plane handle using the principle of tangency. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel.